feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Hello and welcome to the video wrap-up show for the Shrimp Tank Podcast in Seattle. I'm Dan Whedon and I'm joined by my co-host, Linda Popke. We had a fascinating and fun conversation today with Nick Johnson, co-founder and creative director of Libro.fm. You're going to want to listen to the entire episode. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find all of our episodes, including this one, on our website at shrimptankpodcast.com slash Seattle. So I have a question for you, for you Nick, and, and um, you know, you've told us about this great uh, program you've got, which allows me to buy um, audiobooks, which I buy, not rent, um, and not have to go through the big gorilla in the room, the Audible, Amazon. So you've got this relationship with the independent bookstores all over the U.S. How did you go about kind of setting that up, and, and how, what made you decide to, to really get involved with independent bookstores? Sure. So we decided to get involved with independent bookstores specifically, first of all, because me and my co-founder just love independent bookstores. We're from Seattle and there's a thriving independent bookstore market in Seattle. But we saw this uh, market of audiobooks growing dramatically and we saw independent bookstores basically not being able to participate in that growth. And um, <clears throat> instead, all the growth going to Amazon's Audible and companies like that. So that was the opportunity we saw. Um, partnering with them was actually, uh, it's been a great experience because it's a very close-knit community. They all speak to each other. And so as you start to communicate with one and you do a good job by one of them, they'll tell their fellow bookstore owners, you know, they're all, they're all in it to see each other succeed. So when they see something that works, like Weber FM, uh, word just spreads. And, uh, and that's really how we grew to the 1,500 plus independent bookstore partners that we have now. Wow, 1,500. Is that just in the U.S. Or, or Canada as well, North America? Mainly North America, U.S. and Canada, though we do have some international stores and we are, are growing internationally at a pretty quick clip. That's good to know. Well, Nick, speaking of growing, uh, things are growing outside even the independent bookstore market. I know that uh, we talked about this a lot in the podcast and people need to go back and listen to it, but Talk a little bit about the new business program you have. I think it's very exciting because it allows businesses to be able to uh, offer some great reading material to their employees. Talk about this new business program you have. Yeah, so we, we recently relaunched our Libra FM for Business program, which allows businesses, organizations, and whatnot to be able to uh, purchase audiobooks for their employees as a HR perk for employee benefit or whatnot. Um, and actually, it's not cutting the independent bookstores out. Um, it's still supporting them. You know, what was traditionally done is businesses would go to their local bookstore, buy 500 copies of so-and-so book and uh, give it to their employees. We're basically doing that same thing, but with audiobooks. So the business comes to us, Microsoft, LinkedIn, so on and so forth, they want to buy 500, 1,000, 5,000 copies of the audiobook, and they choose which bookstore they want to support with that purchase. So it's still um, still participating with the independent bookstores, still supporting them, but it allows those businesses to put audiobooks in front of their employees. And they could be specific audiobooks. It could be you know, one, it could be 10, it could be 100, but it could be curated. So if they want to teach their employees about maybe racial justice issues or health and wellness or whatnot, they can choose specific audiobooks and we will work with them to help curate that list if they don't know where to start. So anyways, we're really, really excited about that program. Well, thank you, Nick. Um, this has been helpful. We really appreciate having you here as a guest on the Shrimp Tank. For anyone who wants to get in touch with you or learn more about Libro FM, how would they do that? Sure, thank you so much for having me. It's been a ton of fun. Uh, go to Libro.fm and uh, you can learn more about the company there. And if you want to get in touch with me specifically, Nick, at Libro.fm is my email. Well, Linda, thank you very much for co-hosting. Nick, thanks for being on the show. Our next guest will be David Leonard with Cytel Systems. Please join us for the live stream every week at 12 p.m. Pacific on our Facebook page. And of course, go to our website to catch every episode. Until we meet again, 
be healthy, be prosperous, have fun and do a lot of reading because for right now, the shrimp is back in the tank. So long. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank.